Sea Salt and Missions is a very different week of camp from what we do the rest of the summer. In addition to the Bible studies, the dramas, and the things we do every other week, each morning we head out into Horry County and serve. We paint trailers, we do construction, we do backyard Bible clubs, vacation Bible schools, we go to senior centers, we stock food pantries, and it's a very special, very tiring week. And it's one that has certainly left an impression on all of our staff. Sea Salt and Missions Week for me um, was really uh, exhausting in every way imaginable. It was a really great week. Um, not only did the kids work really hard, and um, it was it was really cool to see them challenged in so many different levels. But even as a staff member, um, I was challenged greatly. Um, whether or not I was going to do the work like the kids were, or just watch them, um, or even um, here we are encouraging them to have relationships with the people who were helping, um, and you know, am I going to take that challenge and do the same thing? So it was really, it was really challenging just to get out there and to not only allow the kids have this, um, to have this missions experience, but to have it for myself and to see how loving others can really be um, a fantastic realization um, in how God loves us. It was really fun just to just to see the kids serving. Um, we got to talk about it a lot in Bible study and it was just really cool for that week to see them actually living it out. One thing that was really impressive to me was that all the kids that I got to talk to, um, they just had the best attitudes ever. Um, they never complained about what they had to do. They were totally flexible. Um, they did whatever we asked and we just got to, to hang out and get to know them. Um, got to know kids a lot better not just the ones in our Bible study, um, and that was cool. And it was really cool to just um, to be able to serve. <laughs> it was probably the most encouraging week uh, yet in Sea Salt. And I say that because we talked about how to serve other people, how to spread the gospel um, in the classroom. And the kids did exactly that. Um, they were trying to get to know people who they were helping. They tried to get to know people who they were serving. They tried to get to know the kids. They were pouring into them. It was more than just filling in blanks at that point. They were living it out. So Sam, for me, was uh, working with a lot of uh, VBSs and uh, children in the area, um, in the neighborhoods where we were working. And it was a, it was a really cool time, um, really just to hang out with kids. Um, sang songs, sang some really goofy songs, but they liked them and um, told them a couple Bible stories and kind of talked about you know, how we could apply these principles in our life. Um, it was really just cool to see how, how willing they were to do all the things that, that we asked them to do. Um, they were just so excited that, that someone was taking the time to hang out with them because it didn't seem like they got that a lot. So it's really cool to be able to kind of give them that attention for a week. This past week at SAM um, was a very good experience. Three out of the five days-ish we're here. We get to go around and um, uh, visit construction sites, some vacation Bible school kind of sites. Um, it was just a really good opportunity um, uh, for the church groups to um, really make a difference in some of these areas. Yeah, I'll take I do! Do you take it? I do! You do! do you no, take you it? it was really great to see um, kids get involved that, you know, they kind of would rally together, some of them even when they would get frustrated with the heat. Um, and just the whole tiring aspect of it all, they would really um, get down to business, they would stay focused, and it was encouraging to see that. I'm loving it. Where's the other screw at? Seesaw and Emissions um, is a really fun week because we get to see kids actually live out kind of what we're teaching them. Um, and it's always really exciting for me just because you get to see kids realize um, the importance of it. You kind of just see them really grasp on to, hey, this is what God wants us to do. This past week, I got to go to two different nursing homes and also to a distribution site. Um, and it was really cool just to be able to hang out with those people that don't get a lot of visitors and also the distribution site to be a part of something that normally goes on and is really helpful for the community. It was just, it was really exciting to see um, that there's people that do this stuff <laughs> year round. And it was encouraging for our kids to see that too, that it's not just once, once a year. Um. Me and Sherry went together this week and we went to a couple of nursing homes and uh, got to see how the, the kids related to, um, to, to the elderly people that were there and it was just really cool to see how, one, the kids got to, um, to minister to um, 
the, the adults that were there, and then vice versa as well. Um, some of the adults ministered to the kids. And um, the third day, we, um, we went to a food distribution at, at a church, and it was cool to work alongside them and uh, get, get a whole lot done in a very short amount of time um, so that we could, we could provide, provide food for over 100 uh, families. Um, Oh, we saw God move in a lot of really incredible ways. Um, saw a lot of um, unselfish service uh, coming from all the kids. Uh, even though it was really hot outside, um, they were always looking for opportunities to help. Um, and when they weren't working, um, they were always looking for ways to, you know, serve with one another and um, just build relationships. And uh, God really, really did some amazing things. I don't think it's, I, th I think I need to change. Yeah, it was really cool to see like the things we talk about in Bible study put into action. And um, I know my group just really opened up every day about the things that they had been doing out on the sites. And um, I, th I think it, it changed them. And they, it was, it was a really good group that came. Um, I think the people that whose sites we went to were very grateful for the work that was done. And, um, and just most of all, just like Anna said, really felt the spirit moving. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important to do sea salt and missions. I, I talk a lot in my in you know my pick and my Bible study and stuff about how we're all as Christians called to minister and we're all called to sh to share the good news of Jesus Christ through community service, uh, through sharing Christ with others, through you know through any way we can. I'm not always sure how that works out when, when folks go home, um, if they're really doing that or if that's just something they hear. Um, and for at least one week in Sam Week, I get to see young people do that. I get to see young people tell the good news of Jesus Christ through what they're doing. If it's painting a home, if it's sharing a bottle of water with somebody on the beach, if it's going and visiting uh, the elderly in retirement homes and things like that, in, in so many ways. I get to see kids uh, live out their faith in very active and very meaningful ways. And uh, as a counselor here, that, that means a lot to me. Seesaw to Missions. Um, it's kind of hard to describe in a few words what Sam means to me. Um, it's very close and very special to my heart because as coordinator of the mission projects, I get to work with um, a lot of the residents that we serve. I get to work with the churches in a way that most of the other staff members don't. Um, I get to know the adult leaders and I see their hearts, not only for um, their students, but for the mission projects that we do. Um, they're willing to get on a roof that they might fall down into. They're willing to pull up a floor and who knows what's gonna be under it. Um, they're willing to, to love on kids that, that don't get loved on very often. Um, and I, I like that aspect of it. I also like getting to go from site to site and see our students serving, our students living out the gospel, um, our students reaching out in a way that they don't very often. Um, it's neat to go to the same sites from year to year and see the progress that's been made. Sure, you know. To see the nursery in Bobby's room. Uh, in Bobby's house, um, to see the kids that she loves on, to see um, Annie's house, and and how um, little by little we are making an impact in the lives of, of these um, incredible people. Um, and I can't wait to see how God is going to continue to grow Sea Salt and Missions in the future. Who knows where he's going to take it or what he's going to do, um, but I know and believe that he is uh, got his hand on it and that he's blessing um, the students that are serving, the adults that are helping them, and us as we as we take part in that.